honorable vice chancellor respected dignitaries speakers of the day my dear colleagues students participants and all former fraternity across globe attending this virtual event it is my pleasure to welcome you all for this webinar being conducted in honor of professor kolapalli venkatramana murthy garu for the service he has rendered during his tenure as a faculty member of andhra university college of pharmaceutical sciences it's an honor to have illustrious and eminent professors like professor v subbara garu professor k samamurthy garu and many others who had served the pharmaceutical technology department it's a privilege to have professor k v ramanamurthy garu who has continued the legacy by carrying forward the blazing torch of relentless quest for knowledge and perfection with his dedication to teaching and research now i invite our professor y rajendra prasad garu to give opening remarks thank you as president of this international webinar i extend a warm welcome to our honorable chancellor professor prasad reddy garu registrar and commissioner in professor ganga eminent speaker professor kumar anvari from university of kansas professor chandrasekhar professor chandrasekhar from california state university professor sandeep jain from dr harishing university sagar and an eminent industrial person dr meka lingam vice president lee pharma limited visakhapatnam my senior colleague professor kv ramanamurthy principal organizing secretary dr sailaja my faculty colleagues large number of students participating in this webinar we organize this international webinar on the eve of superannuation of professor k v ramanamurthy garu who would be attending superannuation tomorrow it is usual and quite customary in andhra university to have this type of webinars webinars on the occasion of superannuation and keeping this in view and the good research work carried out by kv ramanamurthy garu in the field of modified gums in the drug delivery systems we are organizing this international webinar in which four eminent persons are participating i may bring to the notice of our honorable vice chancellor that one of our proud alumnus sri kumaran melithil would be speaking on drug delivery and intellectual properties and with your good initiative sir we recently came to know that ipr center is established in andhra university and this will become the first such seminar of this center he would be speaking on drug delivery and intellectual property how to patent your research this is a good beginning we are making here and the other eminent speaker is from california health sciences university he would be speaking on maltose micro needles for transdermal drug delivery systems and another indian eminent speaker is professor sanjay k jain he would be speaking on natural and synthetic polymers where ramanamurthy has carried out lot of work and then we mixed the academicians with industry and to have that we have dr meka lingam uh, vice president lee pharma limited at wise he would be speaking on current progress on natural polymers and their future trend in pharma i think the deliberations of this seminar would go a long way in providing a clean and a clear understanding on the ongoing research activities beyond what we are doing at our andhra university with these few initial remarks i would not like to take much of your time it is now i request our honorable vice chancellor to give his valuable message while inaugurating this 
इंटरनेशनल वेबिनार थैंक यू सर ऑनरेबल वाइस चांसलर सो गुड मॉर्निंग वन एंड ऑल इज माय वॉइस ऑडिबल Your voice is clear and audible, sir. Good morning. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, right, right. So, very good morning, uh, one and all, and uh, let me extend a very warm welcome to uh, all the delegates to this uh, international uh, webinar. And uh, it gives me immense pleasure to be present in the midst of all of you okay, during the inaugural activity of this uh, international webinar. Uh, which has been organized in connection with the uh, superannuation function of uh, my very good friend professor uh, k v ramanamurthy uh, i do not wish okay you to retire from the university you must continue your active service okay in fact to the university and uh, let me also congratulate uh, the organizing committee members uh, uh, president uh, of this committee uh, the incumbent uh, principal professor uh, rajendra prasad and dr p sailaja the organizing secretary of this uh, international webinar and uh, the other members girija shankar ishar kumar uh, krishna manjri power and uh, girija shastri murli krishna kumar and i also see veera but veera raghavulu santosh arun kumar and uh, sanjay samant these are all in fact you know the members uh, who are there behind uh, organizing this international webinar on a topic of utmost importance and the topic uh, is current and future perspectives of natural pharmaceutical xcpns and their applications in drug delivery systems and uh, while uh, congratulating the department once again on taking okay a topic of uh, utmost uh, importance uh i would say that uh, the very word you know that is present in the theme uh, natural natural right very very important because you know we are uh, moving away from okay this particular word you know uh, in the process of development and you know evolution we are in fact you know making use of more uh, synthetic kind of uh, you know products and okay we we keep talking about carbon footprint everywhere and pharmacy industry is no exception you know always you know we are so used to this in synthetic kind of products and it is time especially corona also taught us okay a great lesson that you know not to go away from uh, the so called you know uh, the natural products and to be in touch with nature because uh, I, i i recall you know the uh, word of a very very famous painter by name claudi monet you know he says that the richness i achieve uh, always comes nothing but the source of okay. right so to be okay in touch with the nature is always important and whatever form maybe i think okay whether you are in a park or maybe you are you know, on the top of a hill or uh, maybe okay you are okay uh, at the river bay you know, you know when you once you breathe that particular fresh air or once you enjoy that okay the greenness of the trees always you know it gives a soothness kind of a feeling to your body and mind you know these are the days you know i have seen over the last 6 months you know several people okay they are coming out of their home morning 6:30 and you know spending about half an hour time outside okay exposing themselves to the sun and they say that you know they would get you know this uh, so called vitamin d which improves uh, their well being so oh, we have in fact recognized you know the uh, importance of nature and natural products and now i understand that you are organizing an international webinar on such an important topic and it is the time that you know pharmaceutical industry should also uh, probably i think uh, do conduct more number of experiments on making use of natural products and in this connection i would like to uh, probably i think tell okay all the delegates very shortly andhra university is coming out with uh, a scientific park and uh, under the scientific park uh, in fact we are going to establish uh, three exclusive laboratories okay there is one laboratory okay where only just pharmas pharmaceutical related testing okay would happen and in fact we have tied up okay with several local pharma industries and big pharma industries and we have got you know mous with them and with the help of them we are going to have okay a, a testing laboratory established in the campus of andhra university and similarly we are going to have another laboratory called food testing laboratory which is also coming up 
in the campus. And apart from that, we are also establishing a genetic laboratory. Like uh, Professor Rajendra Prasad made a mention, uh, we have received a letter from government of India just a week back to establish an IPR chair and also okay to recruit an IPR professor. Right? So Andhra University, in fact, has been doing great work with reference to okay this uh, kind of you know research. And uh, I would okay really uh, congratulate uh, the pharmacy department for taking up this kind of an initiative. And many of okay the uh, patents uh, that are there with Andhra University. Most of them, you know, were originated only from the pharmacy department. That way, you know, I have got great you know, affection towards the pharmacy department because they are not only doing great work from the department, because of them, the Andhra University is also getting very good ranks. So I hope and believe that in future also you would continue this trend and make use of the services and expertise of the senior people who are probably retiring from the department. I have in fact you know requested the principal, okay, the current principal Ramana Murthigar as well as the incumbent principal Rajendra Prasad to make use of the services of the retired you know senior teachers also. Please invite them okay back to the department, make use of their services in the department, engage them in the research activities, and if they are interested, also assign a subject. Because that way only, maybe I think, okay, it is possible to pass on the legacy of the senior teachers and the research pattern and pattern, okay, to the so-called youngsters in the department. I have seen, you know, promising youngsters are there in the department. I know the Sailajya, Krishna Manjari Pawar, Ishwar Kumar, Girija Shankar, they're all, you know, promising, okay, youngsters. And I, in fact, you know, would expect, okay, all these, you know, youngsters to learn from their seniors and you know whatever legacy that is okay being left by the very senior professors okay should be continued by these youngsters and uh, i'm sure uh, that uh, the participants would surely get benefit okay from the international seminar and i understand that uh, very very prominent persons i see okay listed over here with me professor sri kumaran is uh, going to address okay on a topic today and Professor Chandrasekhar Kholi, in fact, is also going to be one of the key, one of the speakers in this international webinar. I see Professor Sanjay K. Jain and Dr. Meka Lingam. Okay, some prominent people, okay, from uh, uh, outside, okay, are going to deliver, okay, the, their speeches today. And I expect that all the delegates, okay, would get uh, uh, the real benefit and uh, uh, from this international seminar. I wish you all the best and thank you so much for. Uh, uh, giving okay invitation even to me to to be present in the midst of all of you thank you round once again thank you, sir. and uh, thank you Ryan, for, sir. Yeah. Yeah. thank you thank you thank you sir. thank you thank you sir, sir for your appreciation appreciation for pharmacy department and uh, we really thank you for sparing your valuable time in spite of the busy schedule to be with us this morning we look Thank forward you. to your support in future also, sir. Thank you very much. Good morning, sir. Prasad Ritigaru. I'm up to A6. How are you? Fine, sir. Fine, fine. Thank you. See you. Now I request, now I request Professor Ramanamurthy sir to give a keynote address on the topic. Professor Prasad Redigaro, Honorable Vice Chancellor of Andhra University, Dr. Rajendra Prasad, President of today's webinar, Dr. Sailaja, Secretary of the Organizing Committee, Dr. Giriya Shankar, Dr. Giriya Shastri, Dr. Murali Krishna Kumar. Dr. Pawar, Dr. Raghavalu, Dr. Sanjay Samant, Dr. Santo Sharan Kumar, and my good, my senior, Sri Kumaran Melathil, Dr. Chandrasekhar, and all other delegates and participants. A very good morning to all of you. First of all, I would like to thank my MFARM guide and PhD guide, Professor Chaudhary Garu, for making me like this in the field of science of pharmacy. With his encouragement, 
contribution i could reach to this level today what i am looking before you the interest on the natural gums was generated in my mind with my great legendary teacher of andhra university college of pharmaceutical sciences the then department of pharmacy who is the founder faculty professor v subbarao gar he started a research work on a gum called gum karaya procuring it from grian cooperative corporation but for some reasons beyond the work was not progressed well and when i wanted to establish my own school of research i thought of starting my research career with this natural gum which was not at all explored for any pharmaceutical application so the first research scholars who worked with me also encouraged me to take this challenge and we have taken this work on gum karaya followed by different other natural gums like hoopoo gum badam gum lania gum etc etc the reason for taking up this challenge of research in natural gums is because when the excipients are the most important constituents of a dosage form most of the research work is concentrated towards the semi synthetic and synthetic excipients but many of the researchers have ignored these natural products but over a period of time different side effects contraindications etc are reported due to excessive concentrations of these excipients that are used in the formulations and again the scientific world started looking back towards the applications of these natural gums and in this course many of the natural gums like gaur gum xanthan gum etc are successfully tested as very good suitable pharmaceutical excipients in the design of novel drug delivery systems like the control drug delivery gastric floating drug delivery even vesicular systems like liposomes microsomes etc etc so we also try to contribute from our side and i am proud to say we generated up about three patents by using these natural gums for the design of control drug delivery systems using different model drugs belonging to different classes like anti hypertensives anti diabetics and other classes so nowadays again the industry is trying to use by validating these natural gums for their characteristics by preventing the source of variation the contamination microbial and the seasonal effects on the collection and preservation of these natural gums and they are trying to establish good practices for making them as most useful excipients whereby the product cost can be reduced to a great extent benefiting the human beings simultaneously the use of natural gums in the pharmaceutical industry will boost the economy of the government also because we have lot of hills surrounded by are uh, surrounded to andhra pradesh karnataka and tamil nadu like eastern ghats and western ghats which are the best sources for these natural gums they also improve the quality of life of the tribals who are well engaged in the collection of these natural gums and keeping all these ideas we have done lot of research related to various gums and i com successfully completed very good research publications also with good impact factor and all this credit it is not my alone but it is because of my great research scholars who worked with me and now who, who occupied a coveted positions in different industries and academia and the support that i received from my faculty who are my teachers also once right from beginning of my career till the department the for the faculty gave a lot of support whenever i have some specific doubt or other specializations like pharmaceutical analysis or pharmaceutical bi biotechnology or pharmaceutical chemistry they are first to help me without any hesitation and with their contribution also i could reach to these peaks and i thanks one and all but last but not the least i thank all my faculty members for giving this a very great send off or farewell from the college in spite of the covid 19 situation where social gatherings are completely prevented because of the fear of covid infection but still they are taking all the precautions and they are making this function to the great extent as we used to do for all the teachers without any 
in COVID situation or anything, and for which I am very much indebted to all the faculty members of this college and students. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Now I request Professor Gangarao Garu, Registrar Adikavi Nanaya University, Rajamandri, to speak a few remarks related to our webinar. Sir. Now I am going to see our beloved Professor K.P. Chaudhary Master also. Sir, uh, give your message on this webinar and a uh, few remarks related to this. Very briefly, sir. Sir, <laughs> sir, Ah, sir, we run mute chain, sir. Why is that? Speaker, speaker. Ah, okay. Okay, I think. Is it Sailaja okay now? Is it audible, Sailaja? Hello? Ah, no, yeah. sir, okay. Uh, you are audible. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay. You are audible. Okay, you are audible. Okay, you are audible. Uh, okay. okay. Uh, good morning, all. Hello, is it audible? Uh, good morning, all. So, I am very happy to participate uh, in the webinar that we are now organizing in honor of Professor K. V. Ramanamurthy, who is attaining the age of superannuation and, be, and will be leaving the university service from tomorrow onwards. And Ramanamurthy is known to me very well. And uh, from 80 to 2010, when I retired from the university, till then, almost 35 years, we were together in the campus. Not only in the department, wherever we go in the campus, together only we used to move. And uh, Ramanamurthy 
he is my student i can proudly say that he is my best student at m form and also the phd my first phd scholar under me successfully completed his phd work and uh, later on i have guided several students but now i record that ramanamurthy is my first and the best phd scholar among all the 100 phd so far i have completed it's really a credit and uh, he joined the department in the mpharm in the bpharm also he did in andhra university but in the bpharm classes uh, there will be not much connection between the teacher and the student and only in the mpharm when he joined in dt in mpharm course so we were uh, later on we used to work in the same laboratory pharmaceutics laboratory and we used to sit also in the same room it is called the machine room alumni of andhra university know very well that uh, what is that machine room so we used to sit together in the machine room only for several several years and then of course with the expansion of the building old building as well as new building we moved to different rooms but till then we used to sit together only and uh, i feel very proud about ramanamurthy because he has excelled not only in teaching but in research and other extra curricular activities and uh, so he has uh, he has become almost he has become the number one teacher come researcher in the area of pharmaceutics in the country and won several awards at national level for his uh, uh, significant uh, research work as well as for his other contributions in teaching and andhra university is always uh, on the top in several accreditations and rankings and ramanamurthy made a significant contribution in all these rankings his research work is a very high order and in fact my publications are not that of high order those days but later on when he when ramanamurthy started independently in his lab the research work particularly on the natural polymers as excipients this is one of the important area that he initiated and i think the first time in the country that pharmaceutics professors have shown uh, such interest in the natural products and in, and their application in pharmaceutics particularly for various formulations like controlled release and novel drug delivery systems so he made a, he made a very significant work and excellent publications with uh, good impact value and uh, citation index he has to his credit and I, i feel very proud to say now that ramanamurthy is my own student from and uh, who together we together worked for nearly 30 35 years in andhra university and uh, now it is uh, so he looks like the same during the last 35 what 35 years i am observing him he is with the same physique only when he is in m form phd work he used to look like that only now also he used to look like that only it is not believable now that he attained the age of 62 and retiring today he is just like a, a junior staff member when he joined as a staff member in 85 so we have several coincidences ramanamurthy joined as faculty member lecturer in andhra university in 85 and on the same day i was promoted as the full time professor a pharmacy in andhra university later on we together moved for several examinations several inspections together we did he is very serious he is very serious dedicated teacher and almost all the students not only the uh, students of andhra university college of pharmacy but he used to go as exam excellent exam for several other colleges affiliated to andhra university and other universities <laughs> wherever he goes Hello, Ramanur. Ah, ah, brief, brief. Okay. Now, wherever he goes, the student he used to impress the students very well, and uh, and uh, all the students because of his uh, uh, work and dedication, they used to respect him only. And then now, uh, so he will be retiring from Andhra University service, but his expertise services will always be available to Andhra University. 
students and faculty, not only to Andhra University. I wish that his services will be useful to several other colleges in India. And uh, on this occasion, first I wish the international webinar a grand success. And uh, also I wish him uh, a peaceful return life. And thank you all for giving me this opportunity. Now I request Professor Gijja Shastramana to give a brief introduction about our first speaker, Sri Kumaran Malathil Garu. Good morning, everybody. Sir, good morning, Sri Kumaran Melethil. Sir, are you there on online? Oh, yes, for them it is. Sir, good evening for you. Sir, I am Dr. Gir I am Professor Girija Shastri from Pharmaceutical Sciences. I am here by reading the biodata of one of the speaker in the morning, Sri Kumaran Melethil from US. Uh, I am very much privileged to introduce our eminent speaker, Mr. Sri Kumaran Melethil, Professor. And uh, he did his, I am very much proud to say that he did his B-Form and M-Form from Andhra University. He is an alumni of Andhra University. And he got his gold medal at B-Form level. Uh, under the name Nageshwarao Pantulu Gold Medal in Bachelor of Pharmacy, 1967. Later on, he did his M-Form in Pharmaceutical Sciences. And then he went to US, did his PhD in Department of Pharmaceutics, State University of New York, Buffalo. New Buffalo. And later on, he has done his Doctor of Jurisprudence, JD, in University of Missouri, Kansas City School of Law. And... He had held many positions in editorial board, like clinical research and regulatory affairs, emeritus professor at University of Missouri, Kansas City, and a president of law and science consulting. And he had a legal practice focusing on patent prosecutions and infringement opinions and also medical devices. And he is expected in many areas of pharmacokinetics, like ADME studies, drug delivery, clinical pharmacology, drug analysis. He has many publications uh, at both national and international levels to his credit and many of the patents. He has published on regulation of dietary supplements, world anti-doping agents for prohibited substances, biosimilar and Hatch-Waxman litigations. He served as a consultant to the pharmaceutical industry as well as the federal agencies. He is a fellow of American Association of Pharmaceutical Scientists in 2010 and an American College of Clinical Pharmacology in 1988. And this is about the brief introduction about Professor Sri Kumaran Melethi. And I request Sri Kumaran Melethi to give his speech. Thank you very much for giving me this opportunity. Thank you all. Sri Kumaran, please. Sri Kumaran. Sir, you unmute and start your presentation, sir. A very good evening to you. All right. Anyway, um, as I got, you know, I was going to say uh, good morning. Uh, it's, uh, it's 11.30 p.m. here, uh, distinguished guest students and uh, ladies and uh, gentlemen. Uh, 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 can you hear me okay? Can you hear me okay? Yeah. All right. Uh, I, greetings from America. I wish to thank uh, Professor Shalaja for uh, 
for this invitation. And uh, it's a great pleasure to, to visit uh, my alma mater, though uh, it's a virtual visit, uh, but I think I'll enjoy it. And I also want to take this opportunity to congratulate uh, Professor uh, Jastri uh, for his uh, brilliant career and for uh, and wish him a happy retirement. Uh, a respectful uh, for him. When I retired, I went into patent law. So maybe <laughs> Professor Shastri can think of something like that once he retires, that is tomorrow, right? So anyway, uh, let me see if I can get started here. I, hopefully uh, the, the internet guards will be on my fa in my favor. I, I don't know. There. Okay. Uh, maybe. All right. Can you all see my slides now? Can you? Hello? No, sir. You have to share your presentation. Yes. Okay, great. Okay. Um, stop me if you're. Anyway, um, my topic, uh, I thought when I started, my off topic, uh, given the uh, general focus on, on um, adhesives and uh, other um, areas, but I was delighted to hear that you're going to start an IPR, so that makes this topic uh, quite timely. Now, uh, I realize that patent law would be rather new for most of you. So uh, I have a video that shown on the first slide, a YouTube presentation that sort of complements uh, what I'm talking today. Okay. I can hear a lot of background noise. Is that, I'm not, Okay, sorry. Oh, okay, how am I doing? Yes, sir. Am I doing okay? No, sir, sir, uh, you are visible, but uh, you have to present the screen, sir. You have to click on the present the screen. Okay, I thought I did that. In the no, sir, no, sir, you have to give it again. Okay, okay, uh, all right. So present. Bottom at the bottom you have present now sir yes let me try that okay okay just try click on the present screen option okay well the, sir, if you keep the, cursor the last one in the bottom bottom uh, toolbar okay see i'm not I, I i am on my powerpoint on my uh laptop i don't okay here okay i think i'm okay present now okay you have options, sir. First option you have your entire screen, sir. First option. Yes, I just did that. Okay. Uh, After clicking present now, you get three options. And press the okay. first option, sir. Your entire screen. Okay. Well, I am <laughs> I'm trying. Uh let's see. Oh goodness. Um Oh, share your entire screen. Yes, sir. Okay, so, okay. All right. I think I'm getting somewhere now. Sir, you know, you have pop-up now, sir. You, have, you got a pop-up. Yeah. Okay. Okay, you are presenting your screen. Okay, sir. Okay. Sir, now, open the presentation, sir. Open my presentation. You are presenting? No, 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 sir, no, sir. File, sir, your PPT, sir. Open my PPT. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, let's see. Yes, sir. So okay. Maybe... I... Okay. Now what? It says stop sharing. No, 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 sir. Oh, goodness. Sir, make it, uh, yeah. 
How about slideshow? Didn't I do that before? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Is it? Am I okay now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Fantastic. Oh, great. Thank you so much. Thank you for your help. Anyway, um, at least you heard what I said. Uh, uh, as I was saying, that this uh, YouTube, pre YouTube presentation uh, will complement my talk today. I have given these talks about, it usually lasts between three to four hours, so I'm condensing it uh, to one hour, but that should not uh, detract from the main concepts I want to present to all of you so that uh, this will be a start so that you can all you know, take this if you so desire to continue. So, so my main objective today is to introduce certain patent law concepts uh, to, to pharmaceutical scientists, both present and future. I think this is something that might help uh, our future, and I'm talking of students. So, so I always say, so what is the significance of my of this topic? Well, first of all, to promote effective communication between pharmaceutical scientists and patent attorneys who work together for to obtain a patent, which is a commercialization of intellectual property. The other thing is for for new career opportunities for pharmaceutical scientists. So those are my reasons anyway, for why I think that pharmaceutical scientists should have some understanding of uh, patent law. Now, there's a whole bunch of uh, areas that I'm going to cover, but I will skip this slide, uh, but I'll cover each one. But this is to give you an idea of what I'll be talking about. Now, one thing about patent law that I got to know as I uh, took courses is that patent vocabulary, and some of you may know this, they use common words that we use in English, but it has legal meanings. Like for example, consist and comprise are totally different meaning, legal meaning in the patent world. So as, as you follow patent law, some of these words you need to pay a little more attention. Uh, like obviousness, anticipation. These are all words that you'll hear, and then you need to understand what they all mean. So I, I won't have time to go into it, but I'm sure you'll find a lot of references online or textbooks that will help you with that. So, and then uh, this is all again, uh, what I'm going to talk about today. Then we have patent prosecution, which is a fancy word, legal way of saying the how do you get a patent, which is the process of filing an application and going through uh, the patent office, get uh, respond to the examiner's questions and so on and so forth. A patent prosecution is like publishing a, news, uh, publishing a scientific article. You submit it for review and the reviewer will make comments and then you will then go ahead and respond. And that is how the basically the patent process works. So, and then I'll also go you, show you some selected patent examples. And these examples will show you where the science and law meet, science and patent law meet. And then you'll see that a lot of things that you do in your laboratory has, you know, a significance. So, so those are the main uh, areas that I will talk about, touch upon today. Um, so, um, something happened uh, in the United States uh, quite recently. Uh, I'll come to that in a moment, but academic research, and all of you know this, requires high quality, but it's also very expensive. And in the United States, the issue has been, where do you get money for expensive research? And as you might know that a uh, lot of funding uh, has been reduced in the United States. And so there's more and more pressure uh, for universities to commercialize uh, their patents. So 
only in 1980 that the United States government passed a, an act, a law, that allowed universities to patent the research funded from federal grants. So, and I don't know whether there's anything like that in India right now, but this is something that we need to think about. Well, when I was a graduate student and I went to act into a, the academic world, one thing I, I fully didn't realize is that getting money to do your research is a very time consuming and difficult matter. So uh, as a, so this might be something uh, that will help uh, graduate students to know right now, or, you know, as in India, you call them uh, research scholars. So. so I thought, what is intellectual property? And in a way, it is all about what comes out of your brain and out of your mind. And I thought this uh, slide might give you an idea, the concept of what intellectual property is. Uh, so so you, you are there uh, in your laboratory uh, trying to come up with a new um, product. And so the invention steps are conception. Now conception as the word means is you figure this out. I'll give you an example. Say for example, you are thinking of a new molecule uh, for treating malaria, just for argument's sake. Then you sit down and you write all the synthetic steps um, on a piece of paper and you show it to your colleague who is also a chemist and the chemist says, yeah, I think this will work. That is conception. The second step is reduction to practice. That means you actually go into the laboratory and you make this chemical. So, so the invention, so patents are all about inventions and I'll come to that later also. So these are the two major steps. So keep that in mind as part of this uh, patents, the conception and reduction to practice. Now, in preparing for this talk, I took the two words, drug delivery and patents or intellectual property, and did a search on the USPTO.gov, which is on the screen. Uh, I did this on September 25th. And what I found was that when I, when I searched these, I got 2,527 uh, hits. Uh, this is not to say that that's all there is. There's many more patents, I know that. But this will give you an idea of the relationship between intellectual property and drug delivery. And you'll see as I discuss some very specific matters of pharmaceutical sciences, how they all relate to the world of uh, patent law. So basically what we're doing is we are protecting intellectual property. Uh, for example, I'll give you an idea. The same way that you put a fence around your house, you protect your house. So patents, getting a patent is one way of getting, uh, protecting your invention. Now copyright. Now copyright is, uh, mostly relates to a book. Now, one way of getting a copyright, if you go to the bottom of my the screen, there's my last name, Melotho, with this with the C within a circle, 2020. So now this work is copyrighted. Um, so for a lot of practical purposes, if you want to pat, this is a practical thing from this course, you, from this lecture you can take. So if you write something, a book, you can put your name, uh, put C and the date, the year, and then, uh, and yes, you can go and get it registered. That's a little more technical, I won't go there, but this is the first step in getting, copywriting your project. 